Bev, and if you look at the first 30 games or so of the season, you were kind of, you know, in and out of the lineup, you know, maybe struggling to put consistency together, but that's taken a 180 in the second half. Not only are you in the lineup every game, but you're putting up points, you're getting goals. What are some of the things you think are going right in the last 30 games compared to the first 30? Yeah, you know, uh, it's definitely a learning experience. You come a long way from the first half to the second half. Um, getting that spot in the lineup is, you know, huge and tough. So um, just being able to, you know, commit to the team and, you know, be able to put up points and help in any way possible is uh, what we want. So because you're putting up points, I mean, the offensive side of the puck, do you feel that's an element of your game that's going to continue to grow maybe be beyond this season with the Knights? Yeah, and the big thing is just confidence. You know, once you know in your head that you can do it, um, you know, really from that point, it's just, uh, it's only going up. So just, you know, getting the confidence and, you know, seeing your, your results and stuff is what you want. You've been kind of up and down the lineup all season long, playing first, second, third, fourth. It, it seems of late you're playing more in that top six role. Is that to your liking? Do you feel like this is the kind of role you're going to get the most out of yourself? Yeah, well, I, I try to see myself as a, a skill player that can score goals, get assists, make plays, and um, playing with uh, Temple, and I've been playing with Mastro, a couple other guys. It's, it's, it's good playing up there because I, I like to um, make plays, play with speed, and those guys are, uh, like, they complement we complement each other well, I'd say, so. It's the last weekend of the season here against Maryland at home. Uh, maybe it's not quite yet time to reflect, but in a sense, does it get to that point now where you look at, you know, what's changed in you as a rookie from your first couple games of the weekend uh, in this season against Johnstown to 59th and 60th game of the year against Maryland? Yeah, definitely. I think um, in the beginning of the season, everyone's a little nervous, especially me. Uh, want to do a lot out there, have pretty high expectations for yourself. So definitely uh, a lot of progress, I think, that's been made this year. I think we uh, have a big weekend ahead of us, but uh, definitely looking back at it, seeing how far I've personally come and the team so has been uh, pretty rewarding. So When you talk about this year, you've played more games than any defenseman in Knights NAHL history. So this year, you know, you've you've experienced what it's been like to be a rookie, but would you say this year it's kind of been like a leader and with so many rookies on the team, how, how has that maybe changed your role in the 18-19 season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, when I first came in here, I was the new guy because I didn't even come in. Like, I didn't even come in a training camp. I came in a couple months later. Um, but just growing kind of as a leader and as a person and showing the young guys kind of the ropes and trying to lead by example because – I mean, two years ago, I was in their shoes. And now, obviously, as the season goes on, they're growing too. But just trying to lead by example, show them how to do it. You're a 98 defenseman. I, I got to think, going into this last weekend, what's, what's more desirable, to make the playoffs or to just keep your junior hockey career going? I mean, obviously, both. It's because they're both on the line here. But... I mean, we can only control what we can control because of the situation we're in. I mean, we play Maryland. We got to take care of business there. Hopefully, we can continue our success against them, try to take care of business against them, and then hopefully get some help from the Titans. Because you're one of the veterans on this team, what what's the message going into the last weekend against Maryland? I mean, it's just trying to get the young guys to to see that, I mean, for us, 98s, Riche, and uh, Foss, that this is going to be our last junior hockey games, so we're going to leave it all on the line, and we just hope that our whole team does the same.